everyone welcome to my show my view review i am arian alami and in today's episode of my view review we are reviewing the marvelous mrs Maisel. so the format of the show is first i will do the review for those who have not seen the show and then i will dive deep into the story and discuss with you my theories and what i've learned and everything and also from now on i will include one more segment where will be moral of the story because what's the point of watching something if you don't learn anything from it um if you want to if you've seen something marvelous and you want to discuss it gossip about, about it with your best friend you are in the right place so this channel is all about that so without further ado let's get started Marlis Mrs. Maisel is an Amazon Prime web series which is based on late 1950s to early 1960s. It goes through, a, it's the story of this Jewish family who have the daughter, Mitch Maisel. She has everything that a world girl would imagine. She's a housewife, she has great body, she has two children, boy and a girl. She has... Um, she is married to a rich family and also belongs to a rich family. She has an apartment in the central of New York, which is next door to her parents' apartment. So childcare is sorted. She's living the dream. She married the love of her life, the college sweetheart. Everything is going smoothly for her until the husband decides to cheat on her with this, with his secretary and then he doesn't want to live with her anymore he breaks up the news to her that i want to start a new life a new adventure with someone else and um, so he calls off the, the marriage basically and now Miriam mengsel has to she loses her home she loses the marriage she has to be a single working parent to support herself and her family and now she moved with her parents and then between all this she realizes that she has a talent for comedy where this her manager pushes her and um, helps her to get to achieve her dream and then she, her journey starts on how she's going to deal with everything so and also, since it's based in 1950s and 60s, the costume, the set, the location, everything is gorgeous. You feel like you've done like a time travel and you are in that era where you get to see the people, their clothing, their thoughts, what was their thought process, how was, how was their life and everything so it's a delight to watch i thoroughly enjoyed the show i mean everything the set and the costume everything itself is a delight to watch and on top of that you add these great characters in this beautiful story which is like cherry on top of the cake which makes everything even more fun it has three seasons but season four has been approved so i would give it a thumbs up and 100% recommend for you if you had free time go watch it it's a delight now if you have not seen the marvelous miss and Maisel, stop the video right now because the next part is full of spoilers and i don't want to spoil it for you are you still with me which means you have seen the show it was great wasn't it so season one was her journey of finding herself and what and finding her job, working part-time, juggling everything. And then husband realizes that he's done a big mistake. He wants to come back to her. And then when he finds out that he's a comedian, he just can't deal with it and leaves her again. So season one is full of emotions and ups and downs and everything that you can think of. Season two was more like, like a holiday, which was more relaxed and her mom going to France and then them going to bring her back which she kind of wanted to teach a lesson to her husband and to her daughter that don't take everything for granted and work for your life. And she ends up meeting this surgeon who is tall, handsome, broad-minded, supportive. He knows about her comedy and supports her everywhere. Goes through this horrendous long interview with her father just to make him say yes for the marriage and everything is going so well for her. 
And then, boom, she decides to go to world tour and she calls off the wedding. And now, here comes the moral of the story part. If you had to make any life decision which involves other person, involve them. Don't make decision for them. Hear them out. Give them time to think about it and come back to you. Where here, Miriam just decides this by herself that she doesn't want to marry this person because she's going to be on tour this time and it's going to be too much to ask for. But she never even let the guy know or let him decide. Which was, I was very heartbroken by that. Because I really liked that new character. He was amazing. And I was happy for her as well. Like, I get this emotional attachment with these characters when I watch them. So, um, moral, moral of the story. Don't make decisions for others. Let them know. Let them decide. And don't feel guilty. <sighs> okay, now let's back to the seasons. What happened? Season 3, everybody loses their mind. The father loses his job, he just resigns. He, they didn't fire him. He resigns from his job, hence he loses the apartment. So, another moral of the story, please sort out your housing before you make the drastic decision. They have to go and live with the in-laws, which are being so mean to them, and I think they deserve everything that they are doing to you. Deserve it. Um, the mother makes up a hard decision, I decide. She decides she don't want to have any more money from her family business that she was getting all these years. But this is because how they treated her when she went back to ask them for more money and the way they treated her, which was awful. So I completely understand mother's part, like why she is behaving in that way. But father, I'm like, I still don't get it, mate. Why would you do such a thing? Anyway, the mom is now pursuing her career in matchmaking, which she is very good at. So I hope she gets something out of it. Mm, fingers crossed for her. Season 3 is also, because it's a world tour, so you get to see different locations, lots of big hotels with, again, amazing costumes of at that time, that era, like, and the, what people were thinking and dressing and driving around with and what was TV like and what was the political view of the people and the stand-up that Maisel does are also hilarious. Season 3 was a delight to watch. It was, she was doing so well. Like financially, she was stable enough to now she buy apartment and everything was going so well. And then in her last stand-up, she just destroys everything for herself. I was so nervous when I was watching her last stand-up because I was like, oh my God. Because nobody knows that the singer is gay. And at that time, it was like a really big thing. And she indirectly mentions it in her stand-up. And I was like, I knew she's going to do that. And then when she comes back to go for the second world tour, they tell her you can't be part of us anymore. So now that career stability that she had, she loses it like this. And now she again comes back to square one. But I get it. Like for me, I was devastated. I was like, oh my God, what she's going to do now? Everything is horrible. But then I had to calm myself down it's just to show they can't just do another season on the world tour. They had to bring some other aspects of it. Just we need to explore some more stuff happening to her. So that's why they made this decision, which is completely understandable. So I'm really looking forward to see what happens in season four. Also, one more thing that brilliant manager, which is also my second favorite character in the love her for standing up for her for fighting for her for pushing her for being her rock she loses all her money in gamble and so season three is all like this and it ended and i'm like so looking forward to see what's gonna happen in season four so fingers crossed um i'll put the link of the trailer of the show below and also it's show is available in amazon prime if you wanted to give it a watch it's amazing I'll put the link below as well. It's not sponsored. This video is not sponsored. But I just do it because I love the show. Anyway, that's it for the show. Um, I'm Aryan Alami. I love you, love wonderful people, for your support, for being here for me. And um, I hear you have requested some videos. Bear with me. I am working on them. The reviews are on the way. They're coming soon. Um, I will see you in the next video. Until then, look after yourself and your family.